Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to configure LLDP, Link Layer Discovery Protocol, on my VQFX appliance, acting as the core switch to these three downstream switches. Now, this is a basic network setup. All of the interfaces connecting to switch A, switch B, and switch C are configured as access ports for VLAN 1. I'll go ahead and hop on the VQFX appliance. From here, if I issue the command, show LLDP neighbors, I can see that I currently have no output. I'm not able to discover any of the downstream devices. All right, so from here, what I'll do is I'll enter into the edit mode of the configuration. And I'll issue the command, set protocols, LLDP neighbors. Oh, set protocols, LLDP interface, a whole bunch of other parameters that you could tie into here but in this instance i'll be utilizing the interface parameter and i will be enabling this for all of my interfaces so i'll just use the all option i'll hit enter and i'll go ahead and commit this to the configuration now in order for this to function correctly i need to apply that enable lldp on all of these switches so I'll go ahead and hop on to switch A, enter into the edit mode of the configuration, set protocols, LLDP, interface, all. Commit and quit. Do the same thing for switch B. Edit, set protocols, LLDP, interface, all. Commit that to the configuration. And lastly, I'll do the same process for switch C. And that is edit, set protocols, LLDP, neighbors, nope, interface, all. Commit and quit. All right, so now all four of the devices are enabled for LLDP. So if I jump back on my VQFX appliance and I issue the command show LLDP neighbor, I can see that I was able to successfully discover each one of the devices uh, via LLDP. On interface XE003, I can see that I've discovered switch three. On XE002, I can see that I've discovered switch B. And on XE001, I can see I've discovered switch A. Now we can actually take this a step further. And if I issue the command show LLDP neighbor, I'll specify the interface. In this case, I will utilize XE003. And if I tack on, then maybe all I need to specify. So taking a closer look, I can see just how much detail is gathered from turning on LLDP in this environment. I can see the MAC address of the device that was learned from this on this interface. It can tell me uh, the port type, tells me what type of MAC address this is. The port description, that's going to inform me of what interface on the remote side the device is connecting to. So locally, I'm connecting to that device via XC003. However, that device, switch C in this case, it's connecting via GE000.0. And here's the really fun part. We can even see the system capabilities. The supported capabilities for the device that's connected via this link are bridge and router. And it's currently functioning as a router, as you can see it highlighted by enabled. Well, that is the end of the video. If you found this video informative, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Please let me know in the comments what videos you'd be interested in seeing or could use guidance and clarification on. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.